the series is tied 3-3, which means we have a Game 7 coming up on Saturday. Alongside Sarah Kustak, our main man Frank Isola, I'm Michael Grady. Welcome in to the FanDuel Sportsbook Nets postgame. Kust, we'll start right away with you. Your initial thoughts on this Game 6. Well, it, it was a struggle for the Nets in many cases from the start to the finish of so many of these quarters. They started the game slow in the first quarter. In the second quarter as well, closed out the half. Um, in a manner that allowed the Bucks to get out on a run and, and same thing happened for the start of the third quarter and then bridging the gap between the third and fourth it was a 9-0 run for Milwaukee and despite the fact that the Nets cut it to five on two separate occasions just couldn't get over that hump um, and a big part of it w was two F words fast break points <laughs> and free throws that's where Milwaukee really held the edge um, and held on to this one. All right Frankie yeah, I your thoughts on this one. Well, wire to wire victory for the Milwaukee Bucks. They took care of business at home. I thought Chris Middleton was outstanding. 19 points in both the first half and the second half. And Sarah talked about those runs. Remember, the Nets did close to 82 77, under nine minutes to go. And that's when Chris Middleton drew yet another foul while he was shooting a three. The Nets actually thought about challenging the call. They decided not to. I thought they made a mistake because if the foul is called on the floor, then, you know, Milwaukee just has to run their offense. Instead, Middleton went to the line, knocked down all three free throws, and that started the decisive 14-0 run, which ended with that dunk that you showed from Giannis Antetokounmpo. So I thought that was kind of a crucial stretch right there. Cut it to five, then starting with that Chris Middleton, the three free throws, that was your ball game right there in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I'm curious whether or not Steve Nash was asked about that in the post game because it seemed like Harden was advocating for the challenge, and then at some point, Nash was talked out of it. We talked about the runs, several runs in this game, cut it to five multiple times, and then Milwaukee would go on a spurt themselves. When you're coming off of a game where Kevin Durant played 48 <laughs> minutes, James Harden played 46 minutes, you know, exerting a lot of energy to get back into the game and then having enough to get over the hump, it seemed like Milwaukee had a little bit more in the tank and just executed better every time Brooklyn made it close. In particular, Milwaukee yeah. did a really nice job with their movement, their cutting actions, and, you know, overall for Milwaukee and getting their offense to go, we focus so much on Giannis, but Chris Middleton, my goodness, was he special in so many areas and ways and hitting some big-time shots when needed, and it really was, even though Drew Holiday had had a rough night for the Bucks, um, in particular one of ten from the three-point line. There was moments when he understood how to get downhill and how to attack, and that's where uh, Milwaukee was able to pick apart this Nets defense in, in getting to the basket, working the paint, and so much of it too was that early offense and those transition points that allowed them to get going. And that's where it seemed like Brooklyn was just a step behind, whether it was some turnovers early on that allowed for the, the Bucks to find their way in fluidity in the run, um, or even just in instances on the defensive end, just not being quite as sharp, quite a step ahead. And that translated to the offensive side of things, it felt like, for Brooklyn, because even though it was uh, another big night for Kevin Durant, he didn't get a lot of help otherwise. Yeah, you, you're absolutely right. You look at Jeff Green, two for nine. Joe Harris, four for nine. Going into a game seven, they're going to need more. I thought the one positive to come out of it for the Brooklyn Nets, James Harden moved a little bit better. Now, there were a couple of times where he had steals, and instead of just sprinting up court to try to get a fast break layup, everyone else passed him, and he kind of set up the offense. So you can tell the hamstring is bothering him, but he did knock down a couple of more shots, so I thought that was a positive. But speaking of Chris Middleton, let's think about this, guys. There were four times tonight he had two four-point plays and two other times he was fouled while shooting a three. So that's four possessions, 14 points for Chris Middleton. I really thought he was the difference. Holiday was very good. And let's not forget about Giannis. 30 points, 17 rebounds, knocked down some free throws. He was a bit of a menace in the paint. I know the Nets were complaining. They felt a couple of times he should have been called for a charge. So I thought Giannis, Middleton, and Drew Holiday, when they needed it, guys, in elimination game, those guys came through. Yeah, Middleton was huge with what he was able to produce tonight. Giannis, you almost expect those numbers. 30 points, 17 rebounds for Adetokounmpo. Kevin Durant coming off that 49-point performance in Game 5, has 32 points, shooting 50% from the floor, 11 boards in this one.